Hi, my name is Reina and this is Ciao and Tell, a very, very special episode because it's the first time we're shooting outside the studio. In fact, so far away from Cambridge, I'm in Switzerland and I'm also with two of the most special guests on the planet. I'd like to welcome to the show my mom, Amita. Hi. Hi. And my sister, Trishna. Hi, Trish. Hello. And she's also a new mother and we're so excited for the new baby, my nephew and her child, the first grandchild in the family. So congratulations, Nani. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> congratulations, so new mommy. Thank you. <laughs> so um, this is really special because we can do this while hopefully he's still asleep. <laughs> and his dad, my brother-in-law Robert, is um, looking after him, very like the doting father that he is. <laughs> so, so we're keeping our fingers crossed <laughs> that he's gonna stay um, nice and relaxed. Um, so I wanted to do this really special show because uh, we're here together. We don't. We all live in different parts of the world, and it's really hard for us to get together. Um, so I thought it'd be really special for us to to do this show together. And also, um, my nani's kind of on the show. We have a. If you can see it back here, there's Nani. It's a picture of my Nani, which is my grandmom, which is my mom's mom. Um, and she's actually been really instrumental in passing down some amazing family, traditional family um, recipes, not just for food, but uh, medicinal recipes as well. And so um, when Trishna gave birth, and even before that, my mom's been here. Um, and a lot of those traditional like Ayurvedic and other um, homeopathic and uh, mid, uh, herbal cures for every, you know, all the symptoms of pregnancy and then um, after giving birth as well is something my mom has learned from her and I think some other people as well, like a lot of your friends. And, yeah. But they're basically traditional remedies from India and specifically from our community, from the Jain community in Gujarat. And not a lot of these things are well documented. So I thought it would also be really interesting to do this show, kind of like an old wives, uh, old wives tales for new mothers, mm -hmm. um, to kind of just document all of those really wise pieces of knowledge that are kind of floating around now in the ether. We don't use them as much and they're mostly passed down um, orally by mouth, literally by mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, it would be really cool. We've, we've gathered some things here today to show you um, some of those remedies. So, mom, I don't know, like, did you did you use any of these remedies for us? Um, or during your pregnancy? I didn't get to use it because I was far away from India. Yeah. And at that time, we didn't have email yeah. and all the yeah. other technological advances. So, yeah. for us to get all that knowledge via snail mail was yeah, difficult yeah. and the ingredients availability yeah. was also scarce yeah so we knew about it but i couldn't really use it yeah but i know they are beneficial yeah. so here i am yeah. for the next generation to be able to follow in a better manner than what i did i did well yeah well but i can <laughs> she has <yes>. us <laughs> but i could do better yeah. why not yeah. so what are some of the things you experienced during pregnancy or maybe now? I mean, it's just been a few weeks since. Yeah, yeah. it's only been three weeks. Wow. Yeah. Um, so it's it's all still very new. Sure. And each day we're figuring out something wrong with me or something wrong with the baby or maybe not. You know, all the doctors keep telling me everything is normal. <laughs> um, but what's really normal? It's probably normal new mother paranoia as well. Yeah, <laughs> too. Um, so one of the things we experienced uh, during my pregnancy and even afterwards is um, flatulence. So a lot of gas. I keep saying I'm full of air. Um, so during the pregnancy that's supposedly normal, but there are things you can eat or not eat or um, mm -hmm. avoid eating that help with that. And sure. um, I didn't really know about it, so I just sort of let out the air <laughs> many ways. Which is, you know, not a bad thing either. There mm. are some yoga positions which are really good for that. <laughs> the one with the knees to the chest when you're lying on your back, it's called Pavan Muktasan and it means literally freeing the air and one should not be very embarrassed. Yeah, well, <laughs> and you need to let it go. You, you lose a lot of your inhibitions through pregnancy for various <laughs> reasons, all the checkups and everything and giving birth as well. Um, but after birth, um, mom I also had some solutions because I wasn't experiencing the gas as much as the baby was mm -hmm. and he was really uncomfortable and he he was breastfeeding so everything I ate went straight to him so that's a good way to medicate the baby without having to actually give the baby strong mm -hmm. medication is through your own diet 
-hmm. So there are a lot of foods I started to avoid that I actually ate during pregnancy, but then didn't eat you after after birth. After birth. And uh, and mom had a lot of these a lot of these herbal remedies that I'm sure you'll discuss mm -hmm. now that um, that help with um, with him and with his. Um, what, yes. are, what are some of the food things that you were avoiding. eating and then you you chose to avoid after birth? Oh, things like yeah. broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, things that I love to eat. Um, salads. I I suddenly have to eat really unhealthily. <laughs> I thought I'd lose all this pregnancy weight, but instead, the good things to eat now are pizza and burgers and <laughs> cheese and all these things that that make you put on weight. So, but it feels you feel better. Um, yeah. When you and you said you've cut out stone fruit also. You said yeah, certain stone fruits. Yeah, for some reason, at this and this is all new to me. Yeah. Um, but we had the midwife come over and she said cherries, peaches, plums, things that are in season now. I oh. have to avoid. Um, so I, I just before she visited, I bought this huge crate of cherries and they stay in the fridge because I can't eat them. So it's really interesting though because the child is so small and the child can't medicate themselves and they're basically entirely dependent on the mom and the mom's diet um, because you're also not supposed to take any uh, pharmaceutical medication as such yeah. uh, because that's going to interfere with um, the breast milk and therefore the baby's health. So let's talk about some of these things that, so mom came with this whole arsenal of oh, yeah. jari booty we call it which is like herbs and spices yeah. and medicinal natural, 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 medicine. medicine, natural medicines. So uh, we basically, I mean, you see these on the street, you have these guys kind of with the, displaying their wares, um, sitting on the street, these medicine men. In um, heaps of different uh, seeds. And, yeah. uh, and they're all very herbs. mysterious, you know, but they're also very fascinating. And you're not sure about the quality of those things on the street. But uh, when you go to a reputable seller of these things, like at the uh, Crawford Market, is probably a good place. No, they have a special Ayurvedic... Uh, shops mm -hmm. that they sell just these medicinal okay. herbs and there are various qualities mm -hmm. and so you go to the one that has the best quality mm -hmm. so the pick of the crop is what they sell okay. and you pay premium price but you get a very nice quality of the herbs so you get the maximum extract of that herb okay. for your own personal so, use. So I mean let's let's look at some of the things you brought. This has been fantastic. Um, Let's see, what is this? This is, let me show this. This is, uh, what is it called? Vavading. Vavading. In Gujarati, we call it Vavading. I don't know if you can is see it like that. A berry? It looks like, um, it kind of like looks like pepper. a pepper. And in fact, the one of the English names is the Latin name for it as well. Uh, but the one of the English names is, is uh, false pepper. Um, so it looks kind of like, like pepper. pepper. They're, yeah. They're, they're, yeah, it looks like peppercorns, but it doesn't. It doesn't smell anything. No, it doesn't no, smell, no, smell much at all. Anything. No, I no. tried one. It doesn't taste it doesn't of anything. anything it's, it, it's red on the inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's reddish on the inside. Excuse my spit. <laughs> yeah, so it's a bit like a pepper. It's yeah. got, you know, you can yeah. maybe see it, that it's there. It's the pepper family. It's. I don't think it's, it's a pepper a, family. I looked it up. It's a berry yeah, family. Berry family. And. Um, so what is this good for vavading? This is called, called it's vavading. For, in the pregnancy and after the pregnancy, mm -hmm. you have a lot of constipation mm -hmm. and flatulence as a combination, which mm -hmm. is very mm -hmm. confusing for the body. Mm -hmm. So this and a several other herbs, they mm -hmm. all aid in getting rid of the, the flatulence. Mm -hmm. Also, it helps in your digestive mm -hmm. uh, ability. So it's a digestive aid, uh, helps for fa flatulence and constipation and I read somewhere also it's just a general like a tonic and a restorative yeah. mm -hmm. so but you don't have it just by itself dry no, like this no, you no. make a, an extra you thing? actually boil it oh you boil it? it yeah okay. you, you put this like maybe five seven berries mm -hmm. in, in a glass of water mm -hmm. quantity of uh, one glass of water mm -hmm. and boil it for like five minutes mm -hmm. and let it sit okay and then an hour later, and then drink it. So you drink the cool water, yeah, cold not, water yes. of this, but not the not berry. the not the berries. Okay, so you make like a tea. It's basically yeah. like a tea of this mm -hmm. of this berry, um, which is going to help for gas. We actually have a lot of things for gas because apparently that's um, yeah, because one of the most common effects. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, of the 
results but of pregnancy. The reason why we have so many variations because some people are maybe allergic or not suitable or doesn't yeah. help. Yeah. So this might be harder to find too. But there are some things that um, I know it's easier to find even in Indian stores abroad, especially mm -hmm. nowadays. You can get a lot of yeah. um, some mm -hmm. of these herbs in the regular Indian groceries. Uh, sometimes even in larger supermarkets you can find some of this stuff. Maybe not this one yeah, so this, much, this but there's there some other ones. Let's show. Um, yeah, this yeah. is Ajmo. Yeah. Yes. So, so these are all the traditional names for these things. This is Ajmo, and I believe it's uh, oregano seed. No, it's called carrot seeds. Ca no. no, no, this is not. Ca no, this is ajwain. 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 It's ajwain. ajwain. Huh? Is the English it's Indian? It, yeah, it's word. oregano. But I believe it it's an oregano, oregano seed it or oregano. It smells like oregano. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's oregano very seed. Mm -hmm. um, so the tiny little seeds. These are actually really, really yeah. fragrant. I, I think they are. I mean, if you like oregano, mm -hmm. it smells yeah. and tastes really good. It, it, it is, is really it is good. very, very fragrant. So, and I remember um, my grandmom, my my dad's mom, uh, giving us this yeah. ourselves as kids. Like you just had a, sp I think you soak it in water, and then you mm -hmm. have the whole thing. Whole like thing. You, you just, just seeds. take yeah, a shot of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chug it. Seeds, water, and everything um, it after a meal. It's really good with digestion, and it helps a lot. So that's the the ajwain. Um, it's good in cooking too. Like yeah, we yeah. use it to cook regular vegetables and especially dishes. gassy vegetables. Exactly. Yes. There you go. So, so we're gonna have like peas or peas. cauliflower with ajwain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, ajma seeds. Or some of the legumes yeah. that are gassy. Yeah. So you use this as an aid. In so that's cooking. gonna help get yeah. rid of the gas. That's a vegetable cream. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so while okay. you're consuming it, this helps in sure. in. Uh, so we have a second cure um, for flatulence, which is the ajwain or ajmo. That was that. And then um, let's look at this one. This is methi or fenugreek seeds. Let's see if you can see that there. The little brown kind of squarish looking granules. And this is actually very common in cooking as well in the seed form as well as the, uh, the sprouted form, the leaf. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's a bitter herb. It's a bitter seed, mm -hmm. and uh, this is used for what? Again, for flatulence, mm -hmm. also digestion, mm -hmm. and um, also for lactation. For oh, rest, right, for right, right, right. Yeah. It's methi the, is one of the. It's actually yeah. quite well known in other cultures mm -hmm. as well. So here in in Switzerland or in the German speaking mm -hmm. culture, it's quite. They call it box horns clay. And it's it's well known among midwives and generally among the sort of birthing community mm -hmm. that um, fenugreek is good, for, you know, fenugreek tea or seeds or whatever it is is good for lactation for breast milk. I remember reading somewhere, I think on a packet of it, like in a in a non-Indian store, and they said it's good for breast size as well, for <laughs> nothing to do with motherhood, but that was the big sell. Um, but in this case, yeah, it's supposed to be very good for lactation mm -hmm. as well as the flatulence. In fact, uh, Trishna is supposed to have, uh, <laughs> she does have, uh, um, you know, a cup of it every day. Soaked, so tea, again, this is, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. tea. It's a cold yeah. tea, so it's mm -hmm. soaked. soaked. You just soak the seeds in water. And, um, but it has to soak for at least four hours to so get the extract. So you overnight, like if you put yeah. them in overnight. Overnight is better. Yeah. But like she didn't have time. Yeah. Huh. So then at least four at hours. Least four so it hours. has to, the seed has to soften enough so mm -hmm. that the extract has already okay. gone you, into you can water. have the seeds or you can also skip yeah. the seeds. It's a very distinctive, strong mm -hmm. flavor. It's a strong, bitter taste, but usually... But the tea, yeah. actually the water, has no taste. Oh, yeah. So if you just, I mean, if you don't like the smell, I can take it, it's fine. I grew up eating a lot of this stuff, but um, if you don't like the smell, you just hold your nose and drink the water. There's no strong taste, whatever. And um, and it still has great benefits. So I wonder if like eating the leaf is also beneficial for it is. gas and stuff. It is, except that it takes longer time for mm. leaf to grow. So it this has all the days. goodness kind of concentrated. Yeah, and this way you can be regular in having it every day. Yeah. The leaf you have to wait for three or four days, and then you. Have oh, to I mean, not without not growing it, but if you could buy the leaf or the uh, methi, yeah, methi yeah. plant. But the seeds yeah. travel better seeds, as well. Seeds right? travel yeah, better, true. and you can have it anytime. Like we get methi pretty easily um, in Cambridge. Mm -hmm. uh, in the fact, leaf. My husband loves. He loves it. It's his favorite herb. He puts it in bread. He puts it in really? potatoes. Yeah, he loves yeah. methi bread. Wow. So that's one of the ways you can get it if you develop a taste for it. It's a very distinctive taste. Mm -hmm. it is. Um, but it's one of those things, if you love it, you'd really love it. And if you dislike it, you probably really are not going to stand but it much. With the tea, I mean, the seeds, you hardly need half a spoon because they yeah. really expand. I mean, the ones you see here are very tiny, but when you put them in water and soak yeah, them, in fact, they're really here. We have, we some, have some of the some. soaked seeds here. Yeah. We can show you. 
without hopefully without spilling. Ah, uh, pour some of that water you? out. Yeah. yeah. Let's just do that. We're kind of winging it here. Mm -hmm. Robert's very kindly lent us his camera, so without spilling, I can kind of show you these two. Oops, <laughs> I'm spilling everywhere. Um, so the seeds have really expanded a lot. It's almost three times. It's the three time. times the size. There we go. Ta -da. You can see nothing, but take my word for it. <laughs> They're much bigger, mm -hmm. and the um, the extract is really good. So that's another one. So we got uh, Vavring, we have uh, Ajwain or um, oregano seed, and we have fenugreek seed. Then let's see, what else do we have? We have... Um, uh, suwa. Oh, we have the suwa seed. Where did I put that now? It's over here. Oh, you know what? We'll show it in this. Um, this is... Uh, we call it mukwas, which means um, mouth, freshener. mouth freshener. It's a mouth freshener, but this is a specific one that... Uh, you got from so who made it? Some lady. Some lady. There are these Some ladies who make these things. Uh, um, and so it's it's a mix. Uh, it's a specific mixture. Yeah, I'll show you some of the spoon, but then I have to tint it. So you can kind of see it's a mixture of uh, dill seed. There you can see that. It's got dill seed. What else does it have? Coconut. Coconut. Dill seeds. Um, almond and it's and turmeric and turmeric and it has turmeric in it which is a so anti um, bacterial anti and antiseptic and antiseptic for the insides as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. so here yeah, you want to taste some you taste some of this so it's a, a combination of four things yeah and you can and you just eat it like after yeah. a meal mm -hmm. or something like this. so if you have it three or four times mm -hmm. a day it really helps in getting your, again, mm -hmm. um, suva, which is a dill seed, mm -hmm. which is also very good for flatulence, mm -hmm. and it and also uh, helps in lactation. lactation. Gas so. and milk, gas and milk, yeah. <laughs> that's everything we're going for. Mm. Mm. That's quite tasty. It's yeah. really good. I really and like so, it. So without mm. realizing, you can have it several times a day, mm. and you're not restricted to the water. So like if you're mm. traveling or if you're yeah. out yeah. for a day, Travels and you well. missed mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. other herbs of any kind, this is another option. Right. And, and we, ju we just leave it out on the table. So anytime mm -hmm. it strikes me, oh, I have to eat it, just take mm -hmm. a spoon and throw it back. There's a bunch of different mixtures that fall in this category of mouth freshener, and they tend to be homemade and each home usually has its own specific recipe um, and now more commonly they're made outside but they still kind of got a homemade feel and generally they're for digestion, they're, they're digestives. Um, mm -hmm. If you've gone to an Indian restaurant many times you'll see the, the candied fennel seed at the entrance mm -hmm. um, which is on your way out, you take a spoonful of that and fennel is also very very good for yeah. for digestion, yeah. uh, helping with spicy foods and it's cooling um, it's a cooling. cooling. Cooling as well. So that's another one. So wow, so many. It's like a little dirty booty shop right here in Switzerland. So that turmeric that and then in. yeah. So I just want to show you some turmeric. Uh, this, this is, is turmeric powder. Turmeric. This is ground. Um, and this is very root, easy to. Right? Yeah, it's a root that looks kind of like ginger. Um, very few people have seen it or really use it as the in the fresh form. Um, I had a tea from it uh, a few years ago wow. at, a, at an Ayurvedic place and it was so delicious that I make that tea now from the fresh root and um, tamarind extract so it's got tamarind it's got turmeric and then honey and a little bit of lemon and it's a cold tea mm -hmm. and it's really tasty and it's very very nice like it's very tense and soothing on the insides um, so if you're looking for an alternative for lemonade the tamarind turmeric tea is a really nice one it's a mouthful to see but, but we, <laughs> we use turmeric in even in our cooking yeah, yeah we use a turmeric lot. a lot in a lot. indian cooking mm -hmm. um, it's, a, it's a normal thing yeah. to have so that it helps in anything that you may or mm -hmm. may not know that you've got it so, so one of the most powerful sort of mm -hmm. all-purpose Antiseptic. Antiseptics. Um, and it yeah. gives a nice color to the vegetables mm -hmm. and you don't even realize mm -hmm. that you're having an antiseptic yeah. in a form of beautiful color. Oh, it's color. so tasty. You know, <laughs> all medicine should taste like this. In fact, that's where it came from first. So so that's, I'm also really interested in these traditional cures. They're much easier on the body. Um, and they're yum. And you can eat it. You could basically eat your medicine. And that's mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. And enjoy you know, it. And enjoy it. A mm -hmm. um, couple of right. other things we wanted to show. And in fact, I'll show you these ingredients, but actually we'll show you the, um, since this is Chow and Tell, 
we're going to eat on the show. And we have prepared, my mom prepared um, this drink cup. called Rabri. And it's just here in the pot. And I want to serve it in cups. Thanks, mom. So this is something my nani, your mom, mm -hmm. made, yeah. used to make really often. And it's basically, if you can see it, I'll just slurp it out like that for you. <laughs> it's like a translucent, again, like a tea. It's like a sweet herbal drink. Tonic. Mm -hmm. It's like a, to it's a tonic. It's a tonic drink. Um, and can you tell us what's in it? So it um, contains uh, the acacia gum. Okay. And so we call that uh, Bavarnu uh, Gundar. Bavarnu Gundar. So it's a gum. So but it's an edible gum. gum. Mm -hmm. It's an acacia gum. Which and is also known as gum arabic. It's known as gum arabic. Gum okay. arabic okay. is right. acacia gum. And I think that's what they use or used to use traditionally in uh, in chewing gums. Oh, okay. Um, originally, like crossing the desert, it was really long and boring and you mm -hmm. wanted something to do. So <laughs> they would chew. This resin, it's, I think it's a sort of a sap or a resin from the acacia tree. It is. It is a sap um, from the acacia tree. And, and we have some here. Yeah. So this is the dried form. It's these like very it's beautiful like crystals. Right? Yeah, they're sort yeah. of jewelly crystals. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that to you here. We're working with this one camera. Mm -hmm. um, so bear with us. But yeah, they're these beautiful rocky crystals. Mm -hmm. And then you do what to this? Uh, you cook it in, in ghee, which is clarified butter. So this yeah, very this important time. part of Ayurvedic medicine. It's <laughs> pure ghee. <laughs> it's pure fat. Pure fat. But, but it's, uh, it's the best stuff. Yeah. From, from the dairy. So it's basically butter that's heated. It's yeah. usually fresh butter that's heated. And then, um, no, I mean the way it's made. It's yeah, not yeah. Uh, super pasteurized or anything. No. It's, no. And then all the milk solids are skimmed on, skimmed and skimmed yeah. off the top. Mm -hmm. And then you get this clear... Clarified, unsalted, clarified butter. butter. Yeah. Um, so, and so you take the you take this um, gum, mm -hmm. cook it in in um, ghee, mm -hmm. which is a clarified butter, mm -hmm. and it puffs up like a corn, uh, Pop corn. corn. Oh yeah. And then you break it into smaller, smaller, smaller sandy grains, mm -hmm. and then then you add your. Um, does it dissolve in the ghee then ultimately? Yes, it does. Ah, so you have to wait until it dissolves in the ghee? Well, you're going to have to crush it. I you saw that doing crush it. No, no, you have, to, no, no, you have yeah. to crush it. Oh. And then it becomes part of your your uh, okay. beginning of your uh, making of this uh, drink. Mm, okay. And then you add the molasses, which is the? This is jaggery. Jaggery. Um, which is sort of raw. Cane it's sugar in one of its rawest it's forms. It's a rawest form. Um, really delicious. It's so much nicer than... Just regular sugar, just tasty. Um, we used to have it and just as a snack yes. sometimes. Oh, yeah. Because it retains really the minerals mm -hmm. from from uh, cane it's sugar awesome. when it is made. This is the first form, mm -hmm. so it mm. retains some of the minerals. Mm. So and then you mm -hmm. cook. Then you cook in the clarified butter. This one, so it melts, mm -hmm. and then you add the mm -hmm. ginger. So yeah. these are two things. It's funny because they're marked S and P here. And they're not salt and pepper, but these are, this is soot and pipramul. This one is soot, S for soot, P for pipramul. Soot is ground dried ginger, and it's usually the young ginger that they use in soot. And it has a different, um, it has a different taste than regular yeah. ground ginger. Yeah. It's, it's a, got a lot of the least spicy one and, 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 and a pungent. Yes, mm -hmm. This one, I don't know that you can smell it so much, but some of them you can, depends mm -hmm. on the season. Yeah. Um, but it's got this really lovely bite and pungency to it. Uh, and it's used as a digestive in uh, and, mango and juices. Exactly. So we have soot and pipramul. Um, those are the two other yeah. things that go into the rabri, this uh, tonic, drink. Drink. tonic drink. And that's it. And then some almonds. Almonds. Some, some slivered almonds on slivered top. Slivered almonds on top. So here we have our three. And then it's boiled. And then cooled cooked. a little bit. And cooked. And, and uh, drunk at the, like a tea time. Oh, okay, like a, like a warm, yeah. warm, tea. warm yeah. tea. Okay. It, it, this gives you warmth inside, uh -huh. and it heals on the inside. Mm. So um, it's a very nice thing to have in the morning to get your morning going. Okay. Especially mm -hmm. after the uh, delivery, 
your you know trying sluggish and everything so all these things help you in mm -hmm. digestion, so again it's like a, it's a tonic flatulence and then the ghee is uh, like a lubricant, lubricant for the inside yes. so mm -hmm. that's a lubricant almonds of course very good to start the morning with mm -hmm. get some energy mm -hmm. and some good mm -hmm. brain power and then the mm -hmm. the suit and pipram oil Mm -hmm. Yeah, Quite add good. some digestive power. Mm. It's very delicious. So I would drink this anyways. Can you just have it anyways? You can energy have it. and like medicinal properties, right? But if you if you didn't want to have mm. as a post uh, pregnancy, you don't have to have the gum. Mm. And you can even have it as a winter drink mm -hmm. because it I gives you. Yeah. 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 So we normally have it as a winter drink anyways. This is like the traditional Gujarati Jain version of. Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. Yeah. Yes. In the morning, yes. And uh, very no nutritious. dairy. Well, it's got yeah. ghee in it. Yeah. So, so but you can do it without if you yeah. if you were on diet. But still, uh, mm -hmm. it helps indigestion mm -hmm. because the lubricant helps. It's very yum. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh, almonds, the crunchiness is also mm -hmm. really nice. Mm -hmm. Like marshmallows and stuff. <laughs> yeah. We have our own so, hot cocoa that's, that's really good yeah. for you. Oh, this is delicious. Well, thank you guys. For sharing all this, and I'm so glad we could do this, and that the baby's still sleeping. I know mm -hmm. it's a mir miracle. He's wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. It's been so much fun mm -hmm. to be here, and I hope I don't have almond oil over my face. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it's really rare that the three of us get to be together, and so I just figured it would be so nice. It's to, been really fun. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been it's been great. I've really enjoyed it. So thank you guys for being on the show and sharing these awesome re remedies and recipes um, I'll post some of this stuff online and you know I think some these days you can also order some stuff mm -hmm. and it's become easier to order yeah, things mm -hmm. um, if any of these herbal remedies are, and they're all so safe like I don't think any of these have side effects like um, you know the, the powerful drugs do so it's delicious, it's nutritious, and it's and restorative. And you can include in your diet on a normal basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't any... have to be pregnant or birthing. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it has, rice just, too. it has all the qualities that you may need for any reason, mm -hmm. and you can use it anytime. That's great. So I'm so excited, and I wanted to thank my nani also for being here, who's over there in the corner. She's back in India. Um, she's 80-something. Seven. Now. She's 87 now, mm -hmm. still going strong. And really been a source of inspiration for for all of us. We're four generations now <laughs> with the new baby. Yeah, and it's been fabulous. I just now that we're so far apart, everyone's so far apart. It's just really special for us to be able to be together, even for a short while. Thanks for watching. This is Chow and Chess. See you next week. Thanks, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. 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 And give you a hug. Thanks. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Yay! That's Bye. our show! Bye!